Okay, uh, let's discuss from here, right? Uh, so this is uh, basically how to calculate the NIC. So how, if you are given the NIC, sorry. how, sorry? So we did that activity. Have we completed that? Yeah. Right, okay, so, okay, so. We discuss about recursive functions. Recursive, right, recursive functions. So which means this section. Yeah, recursive functions, right, okay. So have we completed calculating the NIC? Yes. Right, okay. So then, uh, so I'll not discuss about that. Then I'll proceed to the next one, which is, uh, Couples. So let's discuss lists. Today's subheading, please write down lists. So we discuss about the recursive functions, functions, returning function, non returning function, and the recursive functions, right? So today's subheading is lists. And why lists are used? Lists are used to store multiple elements. Using a single reference. List is similar to variable, but it can store multiple values at a given time. even in multiple dimensions. Okay, let me explain this. Before that, please write down. <coughs> so what is list? So similar to the variable. So in variable, you know, Python can use variables. Variable can store a single value. So let me take Ideally, and here you have, right, in this ideally, you can see, I'm going to declare a variable called n1. n1 is 34. If I print the n1, so what will be the value? <coughs> if I print n1, what will be the value? Yes. Hello. 34. 34, yeah, 34. If I'm selling N1, if I'm telling N1 plus equal 20, now I'm printing N1, what is the value? N1 plus equal 20 and I'm printing N1. What's the value now? 54. 54, correct. But now you can see the earlier 34 has gone. So instead of that, you have 30, uh, 54 in the N1. So which it can store only one value at a time. If I say N1 equal 20, so if I print the N1 now, so now it is 20, it can store only one value at a time. So that is the issue of a single variable. But list, on the other hand, it can store many values. So let's say there's a list called marks. In this mark list, you can store many values. So let's store some values. Actually, these values are separated by using commas. Okay. So values are separated by using commas. If I say print marks, now you can see there are set of values. And similar to string, you can access the values in this list. So that means you can print marks zero. Then what will be the output? Marks zero, what will be the output? If I print mark zero, yes. It's working similar to string. String then what will be the value? 
Yes. Tell me some value, then we can discuss further. First, tell me a value, then let's agree or not with that. So let's discuss. Let's discuss why is that like right? But you have to ask, right? So what is the value? Mark zero. Mark zero, yes. So string, can you remember how string works? Mark. Sorry? Yeah. Can you remember how string works? So let me show a string. Let's say you have name or whatever string and you know, let's say Gayatmi is the name and I'm printing the name zero. Then what will be printed? Gayat me. G. G. Okay, similar to that, if I print the mark zero, what will be printed? So that's what I ask. It's working similar to string. Then what is mark zero? Uh, Sorry? Why? Mm -hmm. So remember that. So this commas are used to separate the elements. Then zeroth element is total 56 is taken as the zeroth element, right? Your guess is your prediction is okay, but it's not just print in five, it's print in 56 because it's treated as the zeroth element. Okay. So then, okay, now you know how it works, right? If I print marks minus one then what will be printed? You know this as well, minus indexes. Marks minus one, then what will be printed? 34. 34, correct. That is the last one. So you know that. So the similar to string, it's print in similar to string. So if I print, uh, okay, if I print uh, beginning to uh, tree, then what will be printed? Beginning to tree. What will be printed? Yes. Beginning to tree. Then think about a strain and reply. It's working similar to strains. Yes, yes, come on. Yes. Come on, you have to answer. Otherwise, like, again, I'm doing the same, no? So this is last week lesson. Yes, come on. Tell me something, otherwise what will happen? So if you are not answering like, right, so I have to go and again teach the beginning stuff. 56. Sorry? 56. 56. So this we have done last week, right? Here. Yeah. So that's, I don't know so why you cannot remember the stuff now, right? Here, I have given this to last week, right? When here, I have given some example, uh, string zero, five. So this one you have written last day, no? Hello? Make a leave of the gifts at the
ලිවෙ නැත්තම් නෑ කියන්න පුතේ. එතකොට අපිට ආය ලියලා පටන් ගන්න පුළුවන් මම හිතනවා මම කරා කියලා ඒකයි මම මේ අහන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ. කරේ නැද්ද මේ කැල්ල? No sir. We have not done right okay. Then uh so this part we done for strings ne negative index uh, from from okay positive negative indexes only is that yeah. Yeah. right okay positive negative indexes only okay so that's what i asked then you have to write down this right so if it is not done so better you have write uh, you better write down this right okay so now let's finish this quickly right so you have to write about the basic so forget about the not which i have given about the list right just uh, maybe keep it there and start writing from here right so we are going to learn about strings so write the main heading string tuples sets lists and dictionaries string tuples sets lists and dictionaries that is the main heading please write down there strings tuples sets lists and dictionaries okay after that please write down this only Sir, the blue yeah only the blue color one right we wrote that we wrote that up to which extent we wrote everything we wrote a small note about strings uh huh did we write this note about list tuple diction set and dictionary yeah finish okay then i'm skipping this right all right then let's discuss uh, how this happen actually i think we have not done uh, that uh, the example according to the example that means we just did the negative and positive indexes and we want to know how the other indexes how the index ranges and all these things are working so one way uh, okay just forget about this and let's use string but anyway so same theory apply for uh, this list also right same theory is applicable for lists so let's say you have name and now you can see it's got me and if i say okay print uh, print the name so according to this one so if i give the start in position as 0 end in position as 3 uh, and step in as 1 that is the typical way of doing that start in end in and step in right start in end in step in then you can say print in 0 1 2 character 0 1 2 and if you give like 5 you can see it's printing 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 and stop when it is 5 and if i print like this if i give 2 here it will be step in step in means going one by one so that means Uh, so it's not going so it's going two by two sorry step in two by two that means zero one will be skipped two three will be skipped right and so next one here zero one two three four up to four g a g y n so when it is five it will be stopped when it is five it will be stops that is the nature of and uh, you can uh, i you can give empty start also empty start empty start and proceed uh, to empty end with empty steps then it will print everything and you can say empty start empty end two then print two by two 
and you can say empty stack up to six go one by one then it's going like this right so these are some more examples and you can give empty start empty end and reverse order then it's going the other way g a y a n so is it correct i have you in gayant right wrong name but anyway g a y a n t h m i it's reverse in the string right empty start empty end reverse order minus 1 so you can reverse 2 by 2 also right so likewise you can get the ranges of this string you can get the ranges of this string okay please uh, write your name right please write your name as the example your full name right please write your full name as the exam name and please write the answers without without checking in the ideally can you please write the answers in your book write in book for all these steps 0 0 -1 and name uh, then 03105105252 empty 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 2 empty 6 1 and empty empty minus 1 likewise so please apply all these and write down for your name write your full name right so maybe first name and last name inside the quotation then apply these operations and tell me the values so don't do this in the computer please do this in the book hote karanna computer ki karanne pa and i just want whether you uh, i just want to know whether you realize understood this or not that's why do this in the book and tell me whether you get the answers as expected 